Hi guys, welcome back. I hope everybody is doing great. So I am here today to do a reading for um, the general collective of Divine Soulmate Connections, Twin Flames, Twin Souls, however you want to label it. Um, it is going to be general, so it's not going to resonate for everybody's situation. Um, so always keep that in mind. And before we get started, I just want to quickly um, say thank you to all of you for all of your um, love and your support, whether it be through comments, liking my videos, um, subscribing, the personal readings, the donations, and especially um, the extra tips that some of you guys give me after your readings. I appreciate it so, so much, um, especially during this time. So just wanted to let you guys know. And yeah, I think that's about it. Um, hopefully Mannix will let us um, <laughs> do this reading. He's in a very affectionate mood. And he's purring. I don't know if you guys can hear, but he might actually get annoyed with the cards being thrown all over the place, so we'll see. All right, so let's get into it. Let's see um, what is going on with the masculines. I actually feel like pulling um, quite a few oracle cards this time around, so let's see. All right, so we have the sun. Let me just get a few more and tie them all together. I might actually clarify them as well. So yeah, just trying to work around Annex. <laughs> he just wants to rub on my arms. He wants, <laughs> it's, I swear, he was not even doing this before I started. It's like there's something about the energy of the collective, of the feminines watching. Um, <laughs> that's making him feel all warm and fuzzy. All right, let's see. For the masculines, so just give me a sec here until I get a few of these oracle parts we have letting go. Um, let's use this deck. I feel like the masculines, okay, as I shuffle, I may as well talk to you guys. Um, trying to work around Mannix at the same time. All right, this is like multitasking. <laughs> All right. The masculines are really trying to focus on, on their happiness. What is it that makes them happy right now? I also feel like they are uncovering a lot of truths when it comes to what it is that they need to let go of, especially in their lives. All right, we have deep knowing. So we are going to clarify some of these and get more detail. And the final cards, we have Contemplation, Mask, and Material World. Okay. Yeah, Manix. Come on. All right. <laughs> okay. So there's a deep knowing here that their happiness lies in having to let go of something, all right? Regardless of whether that is a karmic partner, a third party, um, another situation, or just some um, fears or beliefs that they have been holding on to, all right? Now, together with this, all right, because I feel like with the sun being the first card out, like I said, there's a lot of truth that they are um, becoming aware of, all right? They have that deep knowing. Of whatever that truth is there's a lot of um, contemplation when it comes to a mask that they have been wearing like who is it that they truly are what is it that they have been hiding from their own selves and how is it that their material world has actually played a part in that all right so it's like wearing a mask for the purpose of you know the material world their environment um, the community, people that they associate themselves with, or just um, even being possibly materialistic for some of them. All right, so whatever that mask was, it was only serving a very um, 3D purpose. And I feel like this is what they're beginning to realize that, yeah, but that material world, just that 3D stuff, that's not fully representative of the truth or of what it is that makes me happy. Um, so we'll see how this ties into their energy towards you. And because I feel like this is just mostly for their, um, just overall what's going on with them or, or what it is that they are processing at the moment, all right? But of course this does tie in to what is going on um, with you as well. And it will affect their energy towards you. So let's clarify, let's clarify the sun. Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> he's like grabbing onto my arm. He's like, stop shuffling. <laughs> All right, we have the Hierophant and the Three of Swords. All right, so what they're realizing here is that whatever it is that, um, there's, a, there's a commitment here, right? The spiritual connection that they have with their divine feminine, this is what would make them happy, but there's a lot of pain. They have brought a lot of pain to their own self as well as to their feminines, but, you know, we can't hold them exactly responsible for that. All right, because there is a reason for everything and... Um, it's like the, the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine, it's like they move together um, in parallel. So if the Masculine isn't coming forward yet, if the Masculine is causing pain for the Feminine, that, that just means that there is that there are wounds in the Feminine that the Feminine needs to heal anyway. Okay, so, and this is why it's so important to not hold resentment for your Divine Masculine for anything that they have done. But right now, this is the masculine really being aware of the fact that they have brought a lot of pain to this connection. And again, not blaming, not blaming them. So let's see this letting go. What is this about? Just had, there it is, the seven of wands. And the ten of wands. All right, which the Ten of Wands does talk about a release of burden. So um, the Seven of Wands and the Ten of Wands here together, um, clarifying letting go. So this is releasing um, their guard, basically, their barriers, their resistance. So this is also um, a recognition that in order for this pain to be healed, right, not only does it need to be faced and processed, but... This, I feel like the masculine has been kind of like blocking out the feminine um, recently, you know, also in the past for a lot of you, um, but this is just what's coming through now. There was possibly some more blocking than there was before that, okay? Um, kind of like just shunning you out, closing you off, not being very open, being guarded with their emotions or with their, um, you know, whatever it is that they were thinking or feeling. And this is now, um, it's beginning to be a burden on them. They're beginning to feel that heaviness of, of constantly having that guard up, of constantly having, like blocking themselves from this or from their own um, emotions. All right, so this is what they are in the process of letting go. Let's see this deep knowing. What is it that they have a deep knowing about? All right, and we have the Seven of Cups, the Emperor, and the Magician. All right. So basically, this is them having a deep knowing that really these choices that they have is actually that they do have these choices, all right? That they are in control. They have free will. So if for some of them, if they've been um, using distractions to kind of keep themselves away or to justify certain things um, in their life, because that's what I'm getting with this. This is something that they have a deep knowing of that, you know, they were just kind of um, living, especially when we have this mask and material world here. Um, for this particular masculine, this is understanding that, you know, they were kind of living like on a cloud, pretending that everything is okay. And for some of them feeling like, like really they didn't have much of a choice, you know, that, that this is just the way they need to live their lives. And what I'm getting here is that they're now having this deep knowing that they are their own emperor, they're the magician, they can actually manifest whatever it is that, that they want. What is it that is this hierophant here? The spiritual connection that brings them ultimate fulfillment, the sun.
it is in their own hands and they have all the tools that they need to be this emperor. Like deep down, they, they're feeling this divine masculine energy. They have a deep knowing about this. For some of them, I feel like they also know about this, um, you know, the twin soul concept or divine soulmate, at the very least, soulmate. <clears throat> and they're deep down, they have a deep knowing that, that they are your divine masculine and that they do have the power to bring that into reality. All right, so let's see, let's see these last three cards over here. Let's see, contemplation. All right, we have the two of swords. Let me just get the rest of them. All right, we have also the Two of Pentacles and the Two of Cups. All right, so I'm actually just taking these as a, as a whole. Give me one second because Manix is trying to destroy things. All right. So what's interesting here is that this is 222, two, two, all right? Um, so if that's um, significant for anybody, um, I do feel like 222 two, two is a significant number, but just take that as it resonates for you. Um, yeah, there's is definitely a lot of contemplating, all right, about this connection with the with the divine feminine, all right, with the two of cups. There's definitely the emotions are here, the feeling that connection, it's definitely here, all right. But with the two of swords and the two of pentacles, it's almost like them also um, realizing, contemplating how much of what it is that they are, what the way that they have been um, presenting themselves, how much of that is actually a mask. How much of it actually represents the truth of, of who they are and how much of it is actually just a um, kind of like a show that they are putting on. All right, as you can see from this, this image of this particular two of swords, all right, in this particular deck. Um, I feel like what's happening right now for the masculine is that there's a lot of um, back and forth. It's kind of like taking off the mask and then putting it back on. Um taking it off a little bit, kind of peeking through it, and then, you know, maybe putting it back on halfway. It's kind of like that. So if you are in contact with your masculine, you might be, this might resonate with you, where you might feel like, you know, there are times where like their real self like really peeks, peeps through, because it's like they're taking off that mask. Um, but then, you know, they might go back into this Seven of Wands energy, right? And it's like they're putting the mask back on. So I feel like there's a little bit of juggling here when it comes to that mask, like putting it on, taking it off, um, trying to find that that balance or just trying to get really comfortable with fully removing it and bearing their true self, like 100%. And in that way, you know, that would be removing themselves um, from the 3D, like this, this material world that represents the mask that they are wearing, just throwing, showing you their, or showing the world, their 3D self rather than their true self, right? The sun. Um, letting that guard down, taking that hoodie off, <laughs> um, and really showing, you know, the bare naked truth is what this is about, because they have a deep knowing of who they really are. And it's just a matter of fully removing that mask to let that really um, be what represents them and the persona that they carry to be this truth, right, the sun, um, rather than that mask. And what that truth is, right, is this Two of Cups. and them being this emperor. So I don't even need to pull cards for how they feel about the um, feminine. I think it's already pretty clear. Um, what I do want to see is just what is coming up like more specifically from their energy towards their feminine.
and I am only taking uprights um, today. I don't always. I do oftentimes read reversals for these readings. Um, today I'm feeling guided to take the to take the cards upright, and I do read them intuitively. Um, so we have the Wheel of Fortune, the Knight of Cups, and the Nine of Pentacles. Something is shifting here. I feel like there is a um, <clears throat> a shift that the masculines are moving towards when it comes to expressing themselves more um, emotionally. So you will be able to see that shift, and I feel like that is actually coming together with them increasing their sense of self-worth and just feeling more confident and more secure in their true self rather than in this mask, all right? So that is what is um, coming up for them, all right? A shift, it might be small, okay? I'm not saying it's going to be like this huge shift, but, and for those of you who are not in contact, yes, this definitely could be contact that is coming up. Um, but mostly, you know, you might feel it on an energetic level. So I feel like whatever it is that the masculine is doing now, right, taking off that mask just a little bit um, before putting it on, I feel like that time span that they are without the mask is like gradually increasing here. And that's happening um, in line with how much they are beginning to feel more secure within their own self. Okay, so I do, I do get that it's a very gradual process. Um, it's not like an overnight type of a thing, but that is, that's like the overall um, picture of what is, what is currently happening, okay? So again, because there's still that back and forth, and I do feel like there might still be that back and forth even um, coming up, it might feel a little bit like, well, it's not consistent. All right, I would clarify, but I'm just, I'm getting these, these messages um, intuitively, so I don't need to, okay? So that's why I'm saying these, these things. All right, so let's get a few cards for the feminines. I might not get as many. Um, I do want to keep this short, but let's just, let's just see. Um, especially if there's any, you know, like guidance messages that want to come through. I know Mannix is like right in front of the camera, but okay. And oh, we have attachment. All right. No need to fret. <clears throat> we will clarify that. So let me just get a couple more. All right, Mannix. At least if you're going to be in, in the camera, at least show your face. <laughs> He's too tall for this camera. All right, let me just see if he can move a little bit. All right, what else for the feminines? All right, we have the warrior. Feel free to kind of just um, Skip through this part until I get the rest of them. We have higher power. And I will be pulling some messages um, from the Divine Masculine to their feminines at the end. All right, we have Victim, Twin Flame, and Deception. All right, so what is going on here with the feminines this week? All right, because these, these readings are meant to be for like about a week, two weeks tops. Um, <clears throat> okay, I feel like recently the Divine Feminine has felt um, this attachment to the masculine and to just, you know, possibly even the whole um, twin flame concept um, kind of creeping back in um, because I do feel like there was a point in time where um, recently where you might have detached, you know, you felt like everything was, was moving along great. And, you know, I actually see you still moving in the right direction here, right, with this warrior card and this higher power. So I feel like this is more of what you might be feeling and not fully recognizing that this is part of your journey, this is part of your process, this is part of your healing, all right, that just like the masculine um, takes that mask on and off 
for the feminine, it's also going a little bit back and forth between feeling the attachment versus feeling detached um, and good. Okay, so that's natural, all right, to have a little bit of that back and forth. That's how this is balanced out. It just means, it just shows that, you know, yeah, <clears throat> there is um, more things for you to work on. And to be honest, like, you know, we're never really fully done working on ourselves. All right, there never comes this time, a point in time where you can say, okay, I have no more work to do on myself. Like, you know, I'm just going to not do anything for the rest of my life when it comes to working on myself. That's never going to happen. So, yes, there is this back and forth because every time you begin to feel that attachment, it's like, okay, something else is being triggered, something else is coming up in order for you to release or in order for you to, to work on, all right? It's, it can even be a shadow aspect of yourself that needs to be recognized and acknowledged in order to be healed. It can be um, a part of your ego that needs to be stripped away. And then, you know, you do work on that and then you do feel like you're detaching and that everything is um, fine again. And that's also giving you some time to breathe and relax because you do need to rest after every time that you go through a phase of working really hard on yourself. So that's what's happening. Um, <clears throat> so that's what this attachment is. All right. And I do find it interesting that um, just like we had mask for the masculine in this attachment um, image, this woman is, is removing a mask from her face. Okay. So there is some mirroring here. Um, I feel like when you, when you acknowledge the attachment that you do have, that's you seeing your true self as well. Like you're seeing some truths about your own self because you are removing a mask that you may have been wearing as well. All right. And there's different layers to this mask. So it's taking off a layer of that and seeing, okay, where is there still a bit of an attachment? Obviously something is still there that I need to work on in myself. So don't, don't view the attachment as something negative. Don't be like, okay, attachment, go away. You know, don't have that kind of a vibration towards the attachment. No, embrace it. It's there for a reason. It's there for a reason and it's there to help you. So the more that you can actually view that attachment in that way, the easier it's going to be to overcome it and to strip away another layer of your own ego or of your own mask or, you know, an insecurity or just whatever. And that's why we have the warrior here because this is spirit reminding you, first of all, we also have the higher power. There is a higher power that is supporting you through this. There is a higher purpose for you feeling that attachment and you are still a warrior on this path and you're doing a very good job in moving yourself forward, all right? Um, <clears throat> again, I feel like with the victim here and the twin flame, I feel like this is just referring to the attachment, right? Like feeling like you are at times like a victim to this journey and feeling like you just wanna be out of it, like you just don't wanna be attached to this anymore or you just don't want to be um, involved in this anymore or just feeling trapped within this connection, like it can't go anywhere, right? And that is what the deception is. It doesn't have to be in that in that vibration. Again, so it comes back to what I'm saying about embracing that and just allowing it to show you what it wants to show you when you're feeling this way. Um, yeah, so I don't know if I need to clarify these because that was pretty clear to me. But let's just see any final message that wants to come through um, from the tarot. All right, and we have the <clears throat> Two of Swords, the Knight of Swords, and the King of Wands. This is all about you um, doubting yourself and doubting the direction in which you are in which you are headed and the actions that you take. Okay, so again, this is Spirit reminding you, like with this King of Wands, like you are able to overcome all of these challenges. You are you are that warrior, basically. This is like the perfect warrior combination, that Knight of Swords taking action, fighting, um, and the King of Wands, which the King of Wands is a lot more serene than the Knight of Swords, but it's kind of like that is what this leads you to. 
all right, this conflict that, that appears, these doubts, these hesitations, whether it's doubting the connection, whether it's doubting your own self or your own ability to overcome whatever is being thrown at you, right, you have the power to overcome all of that. And don't forget, you know, you do have that support from the divine here. There's a higher power that is guiding um, you as well as your divine counterpart on this journey. Keep moving forward. Keep moving forward is what this is saying here. Don't allow yourself to be stagnant. Don't allow yourself to be held back just because you're feeling like a victim. Like, that's okay, you know, um, embrace that. Again, don't ignore your feelings, whatever it is that comes up, but don't stay in that energy of being stagnant. After the stagnancy, you know, there's, there's this action. All right, so let's uh, get <clears throat> some final messages here if this reading resonated with you. And do let me know if you like this style of reading. All right, and we have consider your foundation. Look at how committed you are to love. And I feel like this is mostly talking about self-love, all right, because that's what this whole journey is about. Um, how committed are you to self-love, love for your own self, and yes, even love for this for this journey as a whole that you are that you are taking a part in. And it can be easy to you know not want to be a part of it, as I said before. Okay, for some of you. But this is giving you a very strong foundation. Let's see what else. Be authentic. Be real and true to who you are and how you feel. And I do feel like this goes both for the masculines as well as, well as the feminines. I have no idea why Mannix has just turned his butt towards the camera and he's like facing the wall. Um, but yeah, that's, that's the view that you guys are getting right now. Um, yeah, so this is all about removing that mask, being authentic, being real and true to who you are and to how you feel. This is what is happening for the masculines as well as the feminines, right? This attachment that you're feeling, right? And acknowledging that, taking off that mask is helping you to have revelations about your own self as well. All right, so let's see if there's any messages from the divine masculine specifically to the feminine at this time. All right, and we got two of them. We have simple acts of kindness. Kindness energizes you and brings happiness to those around you. So I really feel like, yeah, you know, this is, um, you know, releasing any kind of resentment or, you know, trying to find that space of gratitude as well as forgiveness, all right, for your masculine or even for your own self, for, for being in this journey that you are in or for any actions that you have taken, for any decisions you have made for just about anything, all right? Be kind to your own self and be kind to your masculine. It doesn't matter what it is that they have done. It doesn't matter, you know, the pain that they may have um, caused for you. And the second one that we have is um, honesty is essential. Speak with love and truth. And there's that mask again. Like this is literally like this, um, a theme throughout this whole reading. All right, so this is the Divine Masculine's message to you. All right, be honest with your own self about how it is that you feel. Um, and if you are in contact with your masculine, be honest, all right? Speak your truth. Speak your truth and speak with love. You know, don't let ego get in the way, basically. Don't allow your ego to take over and to guide um, how you speak. You can never go wrong with being honest. You can never go wrong with being in your truth. Um, so let's see, do we want a last card? We'll get one last oracle message just to close out this reading. All right, and we have the new moon in Pisces. Meditate and contemplate. So yeah, I feel like this is a time period where um, a lot of contemplating, right? We had that for the masculines, and I feel like it, this is a time for you to also work on yourself, all right? So that's what this meditate and contemplate is about, about that attachment or about what it is that you're feeling, um, the negative feelings that you might be holding on to, right? Especially with this um, victim card here, or the deception. Okay, so yeah, so 
just as a summary overall here, I feel like this time period or this week, it's all about truth. It's all about um, taking off the masks, facing our own true selves, right? The bare naked truth and releasing deception. All right, I know we have the deception card here. So releasing deception even from our own selves, being honest first and foremost with our own selves and then also with our counterpart. All right, guys, those were the messages. Um, I hope this resonated and yeah, I will talk to you guys very soon. Much love.